Okay, so we're going to carry on with the same simulation that we did on the previous video. So we've already set up the tools for it, and now we're going to look at um, the trials. And we need to set up what one trial looks like and explain how many we will complete. So this is for the question about the magnums, Jordan buying the magnums. On 80% um, of the time he will decide that the the day is warm enough to go and buy a magnum, and one in six sticks are winning sticks. Okay, so one trial um, will look at deciding whether the day is hot enough, and that's 80%, and then deciding whether he gets a winning stick if he does buy an ice cream. So we will generate a number to decide if Jordan buys a magnum. If he does, we'll then roll the dice to see if he gets a winning stick. So for example, we could have our random number comes out as a 4, now on the previous video we decided that that would mean that he gets a magnum since the numbers 1 to 8 represent that he gets a magnum. Then we roll a 2 because he bought the ice cream we need to decide if he got, got a winning stick. So a 2 was he does not win a magnum, he doesn't get a winning stick uh, because the number 1 to 5 was not winning and number 6 was our winning number. And then we say that we're going to do 30 trials. 30 is your uh, minimum number of trials to do to make sure that we've got a, a fair and random selection of results. Right, the next video we'll look at the results and the calculation section together so you can move um, through that bit quite quickly.